we are live. You already know who it is. My name is Mike Kyle, aka the Fantasy Vulture. I have over a decade worth of fantasy football experience and have continuously competed for fantasy championships over the course of the past six seasons. Let's make it seven in 2020. But enough of me. I'm here for you. On today's episode of the FV Show, we are going to go right into our Week 12 game recaps, breaking down every single Week 12 matchup all through the lens of fantasy football. So if you're excited for this video, be sure to hit that like button down below like an open receiver downfield. Also, smash that subscribe button like a power running back up the middle so you never miss a video from me. And last but not least, you can follow me on all social media platforms at FFVulture. The content I am going to be producing on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok over the course of the next five weeks is going to be astronomical, and I'm so excited to share what I have in store for all of you guys as we approach the playoffs and, of course, championship season, which I hope as many of you win championships this year as physically possible possible but let's dive right into week 12 the dolphins beat the jets by a final score of 20 to 3 miami improves to 7 and 4 on the year the jets remain winless Tua tongue of iowa did not play in this game due to a thumb injury and a report came out early sunday morning that the team expects it to be a more serious injury than they initially anticipated and Tua could miss more time but that just means that ryan fitzpatrick is back into our lives 39 attempts, 24 completions, 257 passing yards, and two touchdowns. Another great Fitzpatrick game uh, from him, right? This is things that we are so accustomed to seeing. Devontae Parker, 119 receiving yards, 14 targets, 8 receptions. Whenever Ryan Fitzpatrick is playing, you put Devontae Parker in your lineup without questions asked. Mike Kosicki gets into the end zone as well. Two receptions, a score, and 35 yards. Going over to the Jets. Sam Darnold just continues to struggle um, in ways that are just super bizarre. He has not improved pretty much whatsoever. And it really is disappointing to see Joe Flacco come in and be more productive than Sam. Darnold was 16 of 27 for 197 yards and two interceptions. Frank Gore without Michael Pirine, 18 carries, uh, three receptions, and 86 total yards. Uh, Brashad Perryman was one of the leading receivers on this team. Eight targets, four receptions for 79 yards. And Denzel Mims also had eight targets and four receptions for 50 or for 67 yards. Excuse me. Perryman and Mims both have great rest of season schedules. And this is one of the things that I really do want to talk about um, just going forward. Looking at some of the guys on waiver wires and who I think could be guys that you probably should add in a pinch if you need that spot start. Um, look to the Jets. Look to the Jets. It's not pretty. It's not fun. It doesn't feel great to start a member of the Jets. But just understanding what Denzel Mims has done in his five games in the NFL and understanding what Perryman has done, especially with the reemergence and the resurgence of his career dating back to last season, these are both guys who can get a decent amount of yardage and Perryman has more, up, has more touchdown potential as well. So just reading off their schedule rest of season, it is a bad Raiders defense, a brutal Seattle defense, the Rams, a bad Cleveland defense, well, a, an average Cleveland defense, and then the Patriots. So you got five games left, and yo, I'd start them in three of them, uh, looking at Cleveland, Vegas, and Seattle. Uh, with Vegas and Seattle upcoming, like those are just if you need, like if you need to take your shot and you're in like a win or get in situation. These are some of the guys who I really am looking to turn to uh, to help me try and either win a playoff game or make it there uh, if you are struggling at the wide receiver position. Uh, just to kind of read off some some uh, some numbers here for you. I've raved about Denzel Mims since, let me do math here, since July? Pretty much since July, I've raved about Denzel Mims. Yes, the... Uh, Reception totals are not there, but the targets have always been there. Uh, seven, three, eight, seven, eight. Like he's literally averaging seven targets a game outside of that three touchdown. Or, I'm sorry, outside of that three target game. Uh, 42 yards, 42, 62, 71, 67. So if you are just plugging him into your flex position because you need a guy, uh, those totals are fine, right? And he just hasn't gotten into the end zone yet. And the reason why he hasn't gotten into the end zone is because Brashad Perryman has been the guy getting into the end zone uh, as of late. 
but you look at Perryman, he's the one that's getting kind of similar yardage totals and similar target totals as well. Eight, two, seven, four, eight. Like the targets are there for both for both players. Uh, Brashad Perryman's numbers are 62 yards, 27, 101, 54, and 79. And then uh, Perryman just has three touchdowns, and that really is the difference maker. But if you do need that spot start, those are the guys who I'm really looking for. Um, quickly, just to touch on the Dolphins running backs. Don't worry about it. Miles Gaskin should be back next week, and that's all I care about. That is all I care about. We all thought it would be Matt Burita here without Sullivan Ahmed. And then it was DeAndre Washington. So we all got got. It is what it is. Flush it. Move on. Miles Gaskin is back, and things are going to kind of return to normal for the Dolphins' backfield. If Fitzpatrick is up and going uh, in the absence of Tua, just know that the schedule is very nice for him as well. Uh, You get Cincinnati, Kansas City, New England, Vegas, and then Buffalo to round out the year. Uh, Fitzmagic is going to help win people some championships again. That's so fucking cool. But I think, that, I think that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below. Look at open receiver downfield. Also, smash that subscribe button like a power running back up the middle so you never miss a video from me. Last but not least, you can follow me on all social media platforms at FF Vulture. Again, the content that is going to be coming out is insane. I'm so excited to show you guys what I have in store. And last but not least, remember, people come and go. But fantasy championships are forever, and I will see you in the next video.